Hi everybody, Dan Oman, Matt Byrne here. The DRF Bet Sunday race of the day, May 13th, comes from beautiful Woodbine. It's the grade three marine stakes for three-year-olds and you can bet it with DRF Bets. Check out this new deal. Bet the Preakness with free cash. Get a $100 deposit match bonus. All you have to do is go to drf.com forward slash bet. Here's the field for the Marine. Could end up being a really important Queen's Plate prep. You can access free formulator past performances for the Marine on the Race of the Day event page at drf.com. Download them. Handicap along with us. We'll take this field in post position order. The number one mock tree finished first in the Wando, was spanked by the stewards and was disqualified. I thought he took advantage of a fast pace that day, Matt, and I'm not sure I really want any of the horses coming out of the Wando. That's fair. I mean, it wasn't the most impressive effort you've ever seen. You brought up the pace that he probably took advantage of. And also, you have to acknowledge that this horse, he was a little bit slow out of the gate, and you want to talk about lugging in. This was the definition of lugging in. I know that short comment says lugging in. He was trying to get in from about the quarter pole, the entirety of the stretch. Um, I think he's still very green. I think he needs to learn a little bit. But I have to be honest, I think there is a little bit of talent here. Whether he gets the same sort of setup and he moves forward and second start off the bench, we'll find out. But at the very least, he needs to be a heck of a lot more professional. The key to analyzing the number two Okratos, in my opinion, is do you believe the fig? The last fig of 85, far and away, the best buyer speed figure that Okratos has earned. And far and away, kind of the best buyer speed figures that the second and third place finishers have earned as well. I like the performance. His first start since coming back from Tampa Bay, where he had no shot at 100 to 1 in a turf stakes race. He was a little bit eager coming out of the gate. He was in behind horses pretty much till about the 316th pole. And once he got to the outside, he grounded him down like a horse that might appreciate distance. And he has already won at this distance at Woodbine. I think this is a very professional little colt. And if you believe the fig, he's a major player at 8-1. to one. Absolutely. The 85 highest last out in the field. The interesting thing for me is going to be to see where he's positioned because you brought up the break most recently. A little bit green, pulling, a little eager early on. Now we're stretching out in distance, second off the bench. And I think as a scenario, I understand there's a couple other horses that like to be forward, but Okratos could be the speed nearest the rail. So I don't know that I want to look at that running line most recently and see two lengths off, two lengths off. I think he could be one of the major key pieces toward the front end in this race. And if you think the distance isn't a problem, which again, he's won at this distance in the past, I think he's interesting at what could be a middling number. The three archer Gellos is one of your favorite three-year-olds. He's a half-brother to Big Brown, and he really improved with the addition of Blinkers last time out in a stakes race at Aqueduct. He was close to that moderate pace. He finished up well. We've seen him done some good work at Woodbine, winner of the grade three gray stakes at this distance last year. And this horse is obviously a major player because you know distance is his friend. Yeah, distance isn't going to be an issue for him. You can see that they've routed him essentially from day one. And I know seven and a half furlongs, but to me, that's a route race down at Delaware. Uh, the, the interesting thing about that Woodhaven, I kind of feel like you need to make a decision. Do you think he hung or do you think that the winner dug in gamely? I'm kind of torn. I go back and forth. I think Archer Jellos ran just fine, especially because I think he's better on synthetic than on turf. Uh, I would expect him to be a legitimate threat turner for home. Rose's vision has really been a revelation since trainer Stu Simon put Lasix on. His last two races, good efforts on the turf, a maiden win at Gulfstream. Last time out, he was close to a fast pace, if you believe the time form U.S. color codings for their pace ratings, and then he just went on with it. It was a nice performance, competitive buyer speed figure of 80. The question is, does he handle the synth? That, I mean, that's really what it comes down to, because if you think he can handle the synthetic, he's a legitimate threat in here. He's going to be forwardly placed throughout. Uh, I do believe the time form U.S. pace situation with the fractions of that most recent race, but it has to be acknowledged that Keeneland's speed did pretty well on the turf throughout the entire meeting. So I almost wonder if it negates the idea that he was up on a fast pace. I think he could take up a beautiful position here. The question is, again, do you think he can handle the synthetic? Some horses do, some horses don't. Uh, he's an Ontario bred. This is sort of the, the test, I would imagine, to find out. If he can handle it, they've got bigger things uh, coming up in the Queen's Plate. Number five, Inge, goes out for Norm McKnight, who's taking no prisoners at this meet, <laughs> winning 12 out of his first 21. And I guess if you want a horse coming out of the Wando, maybe it's Inge, because he just really set a fast pace. I know Mocktree ran him down late. Perhaps if Chantal Sutherland can rate Inge a little bit better in the early portion of this race, he'll last the mile in a 16th. But I do have some 
some distance concerns. I do have some class concerns. Timeform US has him on the lead as we see from our pace projector. So the interesting thing about this horse, he was out there setting legitimate fractions, but he was all by himself. True and enough. I wonder, like you say, maybe Chantal can, can wrangle him back a little bit, but the problem I have there is I think he's going to have some company up front. And now if you think, again, if there's some distance limitations potentially, I just think this is going to be an even more difficult scenario this time around than the situation the Wando was. The six Eskiminsen won the Simcoe sprinting at Woodbine in his two-year-old finale. Came off the layoff in the Queenston Stakes. You could give him that race, uh, no doubt about it. Second time back, he's going to stretch out for the first time. I think he'll be a little bit closer to the pace than the pace projector has him. They have him fifth. I wouldn't be surprised if he's sitting third. He could work out a good trip in here. I suppose if you like this horse, you want to make a case. You need to decide, is he good enough to actually run with these? Because to date, he's on the slow side. Career best buyer of 70, simply not fast enough. I'd imagine it's going to be a low to mid 80 to win here. Didn't like that they added front wraps to the seven ahead by a century for his seasonal debut in the Queenston. But it was sprinting, and this horse just really put it all together last year when stretched out around two turns, winning the Coronation Futurity. He's not fast just yet, but I'm willing to give him a mulligan for the seasonal debut. He'll move forward, I think, second off the bench and stretching out to a more appropriate distance. Could also work out a good trip in here if you think the pace is going to heat up up front. He should be sitting three or four lengths off of it and try to make one run. I would imagine second off, he takes a step forward. Tale of Vienna also comes out of the Wando, kind of an even effort chasing that solid pace up front. He's so lightly raced, I think you, there's a bit of upside. and He's just a little bit slow from a fig standpoint right now. Really hasn't done anything wrong in those three lifetime starts, but you bring up sort of the, the big key here. He just needs to run faster at this point, but that's not out of the question considering this is only going to be his fourth lifetime start. Let's take a look at our top selections for the Grade 3 Marine Stakes Sunday's DRF Bets Race of the Day. We're going to go with horses with some question marks. The 2 Kratos, do you believe the fig of 85 from the most recent race? You're going with the Four Roses Vision, 9-2 to two on the morning line. Do you believe that this horse can successfully transfer the good turf form to synthetic? Roses Vision, if you believe the pace projector, sitting second off perhaps a distance compromised inch, might get the best trip of them all. And I also, for, for me anyway, I kind of wonder from a class standpoint, I think he was facing the best horses in that most recent race. So again, if he can handle the synthetic, that's a major question. From a pace standpoint, I think it works out beautifully for him. And for what it's worth, the fourth place finisher that most recent start was a next out winner with a 76. And then the ninth place finisher earned a 78 buyer in his next start. So I think this horse has been facing better horses. The question is, do you think he can handle the synth? I think he's going to be able to get through it. Give me numbers. I'm going to go 4 1 3 and 2 in here. I'm going to take Okratos, hoping he could follow Rose's vision as in the pace projector. He's done it over the synth already. He's done it at a mile and a 16th. And I'm going to believe Andy in this one that that 85 was at least close to being legitimate. He's 8 to 1 on the morning line. The only other one I really want to use, though, is your horse, the Four Roses Vision, who to me is kind of the now horse in this race. I'm going 2, 4, 3, and 1 in our Sunday DRF Bets race of the day. Let's throw up the deal once again for DRF Bets. Not only are you going to bet the Marine with DRF Bets, where else would you do it? Bet the Preakness with free cash. Free! Get a $100 deposit match bonus. DRF.com forward slash bet is where you need to go. Approximate post time for the Grade 3 Marine, 457 Eastern on Sunday. Good luck.